Welcome, y'all. My name is Francis D. Gower, and I am so honored you stopped by my little corner of heaven to listen to my story. I'm not really all that interesting, but I like to talk like I am. Putting on airs, as Mama used to say. Gosh, that was so long ago. 1865, if I recall. The war between the states had just ended, and my brother Carl was working at the Buffalo Steam Warm Blast Coal Furnace, making pig iron for the Union Army. It was a small little place in the Hanging Rock region of Kentucky. Carl got me a job working at the furnace even though I was a girl. I loved Carl, but he shouldn't have let me do that. I was no good at work in the furnace. One day, I slipped and fell. Even though I had gotten used to the stench of smelting pig iron, the last thing I remember was the shock of smelling my own flesh burning. It was like I was floating along the tops of the trees above the 36-foot stone stack. After the furnace closed in 1875, I got lonely. I needed more ghosts to keep me company. No sooner did I wish it, and folks started using the hill behind the ruins as a cemetery. I met all kinds of interesting characters after that. But they was all grown-ups, which is fine, I guess. But I wanted children. I never got to have any kids of my own, and I wanted to be a teacher when I grew up. When I heard the local school was closing, I used my shining powers to convince them government types to move the schoolhouse across from my furnace graveyard. You wouldn't know this, but the memories of the students still linger in that one room building. I can see the kids climbing trees and running on the grass. It brings me joy. Then, in about 1948 or so, I learned that engineers could build man-made lakes. Can you believe that? A man-made lake? Isn't that crazy? Well, it's true. So I got me one of those reservoirs, as they call them. And now I have a beautiful, serene lake that I can float in any time I want to. Today, Greenbow Lake is a state park. And I am your ethereal host. I watch over the place, keep the Bigfoot away and any of them other boogeymen. I even have a lodge where folks can spend a night or two. It's named after my friend Jesse Stewart. He's a ghost now too. Waxes poetic all the time. I pretend to be the girl with hair loose in the wind and laughing lips spread wide. <laughs> there I go again, putting on airs. Anyhow, that's my story. Thanks so much for listening. Y'all come back now, you hear?